Hello, uh, welcome to data making. So this video is about closure. So one second, let me make sure like my sound is good. Yeah. Okay. So this video is about closure. So like uh, before in one of the videos, I, I had put like, okay, uh, what to say, spelling a number with closure and all those things. Yeah. And uh, some of the responses in Reddit was really good. So. Uh, I did like it. So at the time I was just saying like, okay, I didn't get what do you mean by ripple driven development? Look, I'm just new to closure and I'm just, uh, I've started working in this company called data making. First I was making videos for them. Okay. So, and now, yeah, the company is going good and we are exploring technologies like closure and all those stuff. Hopefully, yeah, like we'll be, uh, we might be cre creating a better environment for our clients and first for our developers and then for our clients so that's the thing so yeah we are also exploring closure so that like uh, our suffering is minimized and all those stuff right so that's how it is so like uh, i think uh i found something about repetitive uh, driven development but i'm not sure okay so i i i use atom okay so so i just found a plugin called like uh uh, uh okay proto Okay, so P R O T O, like Proto. And if I just put this ripple toggle, uh, so you'll just get this closure ripple over here. So, so I can just put like uh, plus uh, one and two, and it'll get executed, right? Uh, yeah. What should I should I press Shift Enter? Yeah. So that's the thing. So uh, this is some kind of ripple de driven development and uh, uh and you can also do something like this okay like uh uh okay like uh uh you put like command shift p or uh, control shift p on uh, linux i think okay i use mac and i'm ashamed of it okay so so okay proto uh what to say uh, uh exit ripple ripple toggle exit ripple interrupt clear ripple yes auto eval file okay but just put this what happens over here is like i can start typing closure and it just it just evaluates on the fly okay so i can just put something like okay uh okay so like i can just put something like okay let uh, uh a is three and uh, uh b is five and yeah so it just evaluates on real time and this is really good actually like i i just like it and i'm not really good at formatting with closure and all those stuff okay so that's the thing and what i can just do is like c is equal to i can just put like okay uh, a plus b or plus a b in closure so okay if i just okay and uh, that's the thing and yeah of course still now it's nil okay so what i can just do is like okay like i can just put like okay uh okay is there a thing called math square sqr uh okay there's no okay so what i can just do is i don't know what what is the function to square okay so i'll just put like okay star c and c and over here you just look it just shows 64 that's real good okay so that's the thing right and now what i can just do is like okay like i can uh put like okay like so now i just know 64 that's the right answer and all those things so i can encapsulate this in a printlet so that it will just uh printlet 64 right and you just look it just starts printing over here right over here okay so this is what i think ripple uh driven development but i i'm not sure i'm not sure i'm really not sure like uh this is all new to me and uh, now i just want to say like uh, what are all the plugins and is there a thing to beautify the code or something like that and beautify editor content yeah yeah there is a thing called beautiful because closure there is two problems for me okay one is i don't know which bracket ends which bracket okay so uh, that's one thing i just that's one huge problem i just have right and each and everything i just type which is executed I, I don't know like if i have like 5000 line program or look i have worked in projects where uh, uh, lines are like nearly 0.5 million lines of code so i don't know if i run if i uh, do such projects in closure i don't know what really happens so i just don't know if i just include like 
tens or, or like tens of libraries in this file and if i just use it i really don't know what happened so that and all i just i just need to find out but this one looks good okay so i can also put something like okay this print line ends over here so i can also put something like okay like uh okay like math uh slash okay like uh oh okay like uh pi or okay square root okay sq rt okay so mat dot sqrt right and over here i can just put like okay like uh, uh yeah so i can just put like uh, star c2 or something like that and you just get it as four okay so it's very good it's really good and all those things and this one just prints the output of the program and all those stuff so look so it's so good like uh so is this ripple develop, uh, driven development i'm not sure i'm really not sure so but yeah it looks too good so, okay so let me say the package is what i have installed okay so if you just put like come uh, i think control comma or command comma you'll just get it and all those stuff okay so so the package is called proto p-r-o-t-o okay so uh this is the thing like packages it's called proto P R O T O, right? So this is what I just installed. Okay, Proto Ripple. Yeah, this is what I just installed. Okay, so and did I install something from Closure? Like, okay, like let me just look at. Uh, try to. Yeah, I'll just present all these websites to you people so that like you people can uh, visit and install it and all those. Look for me, it's Atom. For you, it could be Visual Studio Code and all those things okay it's math dot power okay power okay i just okay so you don't have a function for square okay in java i used to be a java programmer but now i just uh, because of all these new languages like ruby python php and all like i totally never use java i never use java in recent days okay? so it's been more than a decade since i used java right so that's it and yeah so that's the thing so this is the package i just installed and you also need to install another thing called juno okay so juno is i think it has been was developed by the julia community so that like they could have something like uh what to say um uh okay like if you type some code over here like code over here that is like i'll just show you like uh okay it's called sorry not juno inc okay so it was being developed by the juno uh this is uh id for julia i just think okay so it was developed because like if you just type some julia code or something like that and uh, you'll immediately get the result okay oh sure so that's the thing so this is what this proto ripple also uses uh to execute closure and immediately show the results but there is one uh thing in mac like uh look this juno is there and uh uh and if there is a uh sorry this ink is there but there is a latest version i think like 0 0.12 or something like that and that is broken on mac so you must explicitly install like uh 0 0.1 0 0.12 okay so that's the thing so uh yeah so uh how to install it okay is there a apm command okay joseph apm no uh atoming okay there is no thing to or is the readme say something no i am not sure okay uh okay okay so okay wait ink atom mac uh actually i got an error so you need to install this very particular version okay like it's not like uh the recent version or something like that okay so uh, let me just put okay so you just need to install the zero one zero one one two okay so that's what you need to install and you shouldn't install the uh, latest you shouldn't update this okay that's so that's one uh thing okay and apart from this proto and in this proto you need to do this one like uh it's called proto okay p r o t o proto and there is a thing called eval or something like that okay. and since it's new okay exit ripple interrupt clear 
Oke. Okay. Execute selected text. Oke. Okay. There is an option for executing the file in real time. I just, I think I just showed you. Or is it evap? Eval. Yeah, auto eval file. So if you just keep this, it will just keep evaluating. Okay, so that's the thing. So I can put C star C star C star three and yeah. Oh here, yeah, yeah one ninety two is that. So so yeah, th uh, this is what I just did to make uh, this thing work, and I I'm very impressed and all those things. Okay, so uh, that's the thing, and yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching my video. Uh, after a long time, I'm doing a closure video and I'm also very really happy, right? So that's it. Okay, uh, subscribe or whatever if you want to get uh, notified. But of course, if you want me to earn money, yeah, subscribe, right? So, apart from that, yeah, nothing. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.